Pupil's Book, Unit Four, Page Forty-Eight. Reading. The American Pioneers. A hundred years ago, many people travelled across America. They needed houses and fields. They were pioneers. A pioneer does something first. These people travelled across America first. They stopped near a river. They needed wood and water. They used axes and they chopped down trees. The horses pulled the logs with ropes. The men lifted one log on top of another log. These were the walls of their house. Inside, there were two rooms. In one room, there was a fire. The women cooked food in big pots. The children helped. They picked up wood for the fire. They fetched water from the river. There were not many toys. The girls skipped with a rope. The boys played skittles. All the children played a game with a cup and a ball. You can make this game too. Unit four, page fifty-one, activities one and two. Save Henry, part four, a visitor. Children, we have a visitor this morning. Good morning, I'm Gary West. I work for Channel Ten. The TV channel. Wow. Can you tell me about the farm? The farm's great, but last night there was a terrible storm. Look at the tractor. Look at the broken windows and the roofs. But there are carpenters here with saws and hammers and nails. The builder is fixing a new metal gate. The plumber is fixing new plastic pipes. But Mr. Oates, the farmer, is a very poor man. Hmm. Do you know about my TV? Yes, it's a competition for children. That's right. The winners make a TV program. Just a minute. I've got a great idea. What's that, Max? We can enter the competition. Perhaps we can make a TV program. We can tell people about the pear tree farm. Perhaps we can save Henry. Activity three: Listen and say. Save Henry. Part four: A visitor. Children, we have a visitor this morning. Good morning. I'm Gary West. I work for Channel Ten. The TV channel. Wow. Can you tell me about the farm? The farm's great, but last night there was a terrible storm. Look at the tractor. Look at the broken windows and the roofs. But there are carpenters here with saws and hammers and nails. The builder is fixing a new metal gate. The plumber is fixing new plastic pipes. But Mr. Oates, the farmer, is a very poor man. Hmm. Do you know about my TV? Yes, it's a competition for children. That's right. The winners make a TV program. Just a minute. I've got a great idea. What's that, Max? We can enter the competition. 
Perhaps we can make a TV programme. We can tell people about Pear Tree Farm. Perhaps we can save Henry. Page 53. Activity 1. Listen and read. Let's play a word game. OK. How do you play it? You choose two words and make a sentence. Right. You start. OK. Your words are fetched and river. That's easy. The boys fetched water from the river. Very good. You get one point. Now it's your turn. Your words are cooked and skittles. Oh, that's hard. Um... Um... Do you give up? Yes. Ha <laughs> ha! You get no points at all. Activity 4. Listen and say. I like coffee, I like tea. I want Sally here with me. One, two, three, four. Out you go and shut the door. Activities 1 and 2. Sue and Jimmy lived in a little house with their mother and father, a dog, a cat and a little bird. There were two big horses in the field next to the house. In the morning, Mum always said, We need water. Can you fetch it, children? Sue and Jimmy walked down the hill to the river and fetched the water. In the afternoon, they played games. Sue skipped with a rope. Jimmy played skittles. In the evening, the children looked at a picture book with their mother. Their father played his guitar. The children liked his songs. Activity 3. Listen to the questions and circle the right answers. Number 1. How many horses did they have? Number 2. Where did the children fetch water from? Number 3. When did the children play games? Number 4. Did Mum play the guitar? Phonics. Look and listen. O. Snow. O. Snow. Blow, wind, blow. Blow the white snow. Throw the white snow at our yellow window. <laughs>